hello everybody this is mr bobby's models and i'm gonna show you my moonlight madness peterstone model horses i bought these in the leftover sale after moonlight madness happened i was checking social media during the event itself but you had to have a number like a participant number in order to purchase the models on the evening luckily the following tuesday which was actually the day of Dia de los Muertos this year, they put leftovers on the website for anybody to purchase. So I made two purchases. If anybody participated in the leftover sale, you would know that things sold out really, really quickly. I had to be very quick about buying these two models and I actually had to check them out separately. So they came in two separate boxes. The first model that I picked up was Dinero, the Arabian. He really caught my eye because of his coat colour, so I'm going to give you a closer look at him now. So here he is. The thing that drew me to this guy over the other leftovers was his absolutely stunning coat colour. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera as well as it uh, shows in person, but it's got some crazy, like almost like dark green here on the neck and chest. And then there's some lovely reds, uh, pink reds and yellow oranges going on in his coat. They look absolutely gorgeous. He is a sugar skull model. So his head is made to look like a sugar skull. It has some beautiful patterns on it and details. You can see he has little diamantes around his face. So he has some in the center of his face and then on either cheek. And these reflect such a pretty pinky purple color in some lights. And then in others, they reflect like a green. It's really interesting to see. And then here's the pattern from underneath his face. It's very unique. I really love the colors. And he has a brown eye uh, on both sides. He has brown eyes. His ears are painted black. And uh, the face has a white base coat on it, which looks really, really cool against his color. He's definitely one of the more unique pieces in my collection and I love him for that. Here's his off side. Again, he has this stunning coat color that just doesn't show as well in pictures and videos as it does in person. I don't think you can see the green tones as well as I can. Um, he's definitely a model you have to see in real life to appreciate. On his back, he's quite dark. And then obviously on his belly, he is super duper light. He reminds me of a nectarine. Um, like the darker and the purpley red reminds me of like the nectarine skin. And then the yellow is like the flesh inside. I don't know. <laughs> I know that's really silly, but uh, that's just what he reminds me of. He was painted by Dawn Quick. So he has her signature and the year on his belly. So that's him, pretty boy. This second model is Celso. He was my second and last purchase from the leftover sale. Uh, I He came on the website maybe 20 minutes after I bought an arrow. <laughs> I am obsessed with him he's a sugar skull but he has a little bit of a different design on his face which they didn't i didn't see a sugar skull like this on any other of the models so i think he's quite unique and that's what i really really like about him so you can see he's this absolutely stunning buckskin color it really suits him and it goes really well with the primary colors on his face He's incredibly well shaded and he, oh, he's stunning. I love his dark little shoulder here. He also has brown eyes and he has this stunning Mexican pattern on his face. 
which I absolutely love. It's definitely one of the unique selling points of this particular model. I've never really seen a Sugar Skull like it by Peter Stone. Look how lovely he looks. Sadly, he did come with a rub on his leg. I have no idea how he acquired this because it's not in his original photos. And the box he came in was not damaged or anything. He was really well wrapped in like packing peanuts and bubble wrap. So I, I genuinely do not know how he got it. Hopefully it should be fine to touch up though. I've just, I'm, I'm just currently too scared to do it in case I mess up his leg. Here is his other side. His main photo on the Peter Stone website was actually of this side of his body, which is interesting. I'm not sure why. Maybe so you could see his mane. I don't know. But I think he's so cool. And I, I like this mold. This is my first on the mold. And I really like all these details in the sculpture. He's a very pretty boy. He's also painted by Dawn, so he has Dawn's signature on him as well. And here they are together. They look so cool in my glass cabinet alongside my other models. Definitely, definitely some of the most unique things that I own in my collection. It's safe to say that I don't have a lot of money left now. <laughs> So these may be my last purchases for quite some time, but that's perfectly okay because I absolutely love them. I am downsizing my collection a bit now um, so that I can just have my all-time favourite pieces and buy some nicer pieces, including these guys. So maybe I'll be able to afford a couple more in the future. If you participated in Moonlight Madness, I hope you got the models that you wanted. There are still the odd um, models, either from the event or just Sugar Skulls in general, that are popping on to Peter Stone's website. So if you didn't participate and you didn't get anything in the leftovers, but these are the kinds of models that you would love to collect, then I recommend keeping an eye on the Peter Stone website. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye guys.